So we have a narcissist guide to fixing sore pelvises. My name's Harley. I'm a narcissist. And I was some personal experience with getting a sore pelvis here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. It was November 2015. And I met a I met a filly who was keen and we did we, we hooked up. And the next day I wrote the doy and my pelvis was quite sore. So how did that happen? You can use your imagination. It was so sore that her current boyfriend made a video, 1 hour 15. He should have said at the start of the video, this is why I'm making this video, because Duran Rider got a sore pelvis and I never did, and I feel inadequate. <laughs> but seriously, if you do have a sore pelvis, I personally have had one once before, and you need to stop that level of intensity. You need to communicate with your partner, whoever, whatever you're doing, you need to stop it because a sore pelvis can lead to more injuries. It can lead to lower back injuries. It can lead to spinal issues. It can lead to hip labial tears, etc. It can lead to overtraining issues when you're training. So if you are experiencing sore pelvis activity after training, then you need to communicate that or have a rest. Maybe the sore pelvis, maybe you need to build up to it. Build up to that level of te intensity. You know, that night I felt like a dual suspension mountain bike with 120 mils of travel, but it wasn't going nowhere. It's just going straight into that pelvis, and I was quite sore the next day. If you go on Strava, you can see I was about six minutes slow up the doy. So you need to address, always with injuries, you need to address the cause. You can take painkillers and uh, address the symptoms, but that's never going to be healthy. You know, like any sore pelvis or any sore knees or ankles or back, you need to address the cause of that. Making a YouTube video about it won't really help. You need to treat the cause of that. Okay, so if you're missing out, if you want some sore pelvis action, then you maybe need to, do to learn some tips from those people getting the sore pelvis or giving it. If you are experiencing sore pelvis yourself and you, it's affecting your life, you need to communicate with your partner, whoever's giving you that sore pelvis, to back it down a little bit, turn it down a little bit, let you build up to that level of intensity. Otherwise, you may experience prolonged pain. And if pain persists, please see your doctor. Something like that. I think that was the cadence. Carbs, cut the fuck up, motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up. Corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, dates, plantain, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan, motherfuckers. Cut the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up, the fuck up.